Hi, everyone. Thanks for sticking around as we reach the end of a long day full of awesome presentations. My name is Dan Joseph, and I work at American Red Cross, where we are both users and contributors to OpenStreetMap. If you're an OSM mapper, uh, then you know about ID Editor and how the maintainers of that tool have made a, done such a great job making it quick to learn and easy to use. But we found we needed a way to involve people who might not be ready to make that full leap into being an OSM mapper or involve people in a situation where it's not easy to give them enough individual attention, like a large group or at an event where we have a limited duration of time to work with them. So we wanted to engage beginners and have them contribute meaningfully in less than like 15 minutes, um, and then let them continue to engage in small chunks of time whenever they had some free time. Um, so enter this pretty cool tool called MapSwipe. Um, it's been around since before we got involved, um, but it's a simple crowdsourced uh, data creation app available on Android and iOS, and it's part of the OSM and Missing Maps ecosystem with the code openly available under an Apache 2.0 license. The first uh, mission type in MapSwipe was called Build Area, and it shows you six uh, tiny squares of satellite imagery at a time, and you tap the tiles uh, once to identify some feature, uh, twice if you're not sure, and three times to identify that imagery. So users would go through a big swath of area, um, and then after identifying where, for example, buildings are, uh, that data could be fed into the tasking manager so that people, uh, when coordinated to map an area, could go straight to where there's buildings and not have to spend a lot of time searching through desert or forest. Um, this mission type has been used in some interesting ways, like more recently with Arizona State University and Youth Mappers looking for mobile homes in Arizona uh, that they can then target for heat resilience research in action. Since that first mission type, there have been a couple other mission types added to the app, including a change detection one showing satellite imagery or aerial imagery from two different dates and asking the user to identify if there's been some change, as well as a mission type that we recently added that shows features extracted from OSM one at a time then ask the user to identify if that feature is well mapped or not. Um, so what does uh, a map site mission tell us? Like we're really interested in how we can turn this data into information. Uh, what actions can we take based on this data? Can we target places for uh, repeat mapping? Can we feed this into some sort of analysis? Um, for the future of MapSwipe, um, we're looking into how we can dig deeper into those data pipelines. How do we get from this crowdsourced data to actions? And we're very interested in how we might expand the functionality. Can we use MapSwipe to directly edit OSM? Could we use it to contribute to localized machine learning uh, models? Uh, can we integrate with other platforms like MapRoulette or pick for review maybe in just street level imagery, not just aerial imagery? Um, so there's lots of exciting uh, avenues. Um, if you have ideas, we'd love to hear them. Uh, please get in touch um, and check out MapSwipe on the App Store. Thank you.